Hey everybody, this is Pelican Tacos back with another tutorial on Computer Craft. Today we're going to look at peripherals, and if you're not familiar with that, familiar with peripherals, uh, we're going to basically going to be looking at things like monitors, disk drives, printers, those things that attach to the computer. Does that make sense? So first of all, let's put our computer down. Let's do it. So here we go. We're going to go to our monitor. We've got that our computer monitor and then let's give ourselves a disk drive and then to create it let's just talk about how we do that first we're going to need some pain and uh, some stones so if i give myself a crafting table boom take my stone all the way around like that put my pain in the middle and then there's my monitor so that's the basic way that you get a monitor there if you are not doing creative mode and so let's do that let's put down the monitor here boom boom and notice how it expands and it will continue to expand to however big you want it obviously there is a limit here and it is based on the size but uh, there's a pretty big monitor. And when we come in, we bring the computer. We'll put it right there. And uh, there's some programming that we have to do along with this. So let's just kind of talk about exactly how to call up a monitor. There's a couple of different ways that we can do this when we right click on our computer. Um, to immediately write something on there, we're just going to write, we're going to go into Lua and immediately call up peripheral call. And we'll say it is to the right. So we're going to say to the right. We're going to write again. Right, right. Hello, world, baby. Okay. Boom, boom. And then we get on there. And there it is. Hello, world, baby. Nice. So that's the easy way to do that. Um, if I bring this up and what's called a wrap, we're going to create a variable here. And just do mon for monitor equals peripheral wrap. And again, it's going to be to the right because the monitor is to the right of the computer. If it was to the top, you would do the top. If it was to the left, forward, front, all that kind of stuff, okay? So front, back, bottom, left, top, right. But it's to the right, so we're going to do that. And it'll call up uh, the variable now. So now if I type in mon right, Hello, baby. <laughs> I cannot spell today. Holy cow. All right, so baby. Boom, there it is. And now it will do the same thing. A little bit shorter. Notice it did not clear my screen. A couple other things we can do with that in order to clear. Let me just do mon clear. And it'll clear the screen. Don't forget the parentheses there. All right, so that's pretty much it with this monitor. To do the advanced one, which uh, actually is pretty cool here, we're gonna change this out. And again, these are the only real difference here is when you're crafting it is to using the gold. So let's put my advanced computer monitor here. Boom, there it is. Get my sweet, fancy gold computer. And notice it went gray here. Is it still gray? Let's uh, exit out of here. Boom. If you have trouble with that, just uh, throw two of them down there and you're good to go. So now um, let's go in here and now we can go back into Lua. We're going to set back up and let's just do mon again for peripheral. And again, it is to wrap it is to the right. Boom. Boom. So now we're going to do mon. We're going to set the text scale. So this makes the text uh, much bigger than it was. So for example, if I just write out hello come back up here and it's huge. <laughs> Look how big that is. That's awesome. Huh? All right. And we can also, uh, let's clear it out again. 
Um, we can set the text color, which is pretty cool. What are we gonna do? Let's do 100. Boom, and let's call back up, right? hello. And it was pink, look at that. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna clear it out again. And uh, one of the things too, we can set the cursor position. And notice again, this is on camel case. But if we do position, uh, first line is one there. Uh, and then let's just do one again. Boom, monitor. And now we will write hello. And it comes right there. Whereas if we came back up to the monitor position and put like 10, boom, and then called up hello again, they would put it over there. So the 10th character on the far right is there. Whereas if we come over here and do one there and then 10, boom, bring up hello. And there it is. So now notice that was the first position and the third line, one, two, three, lines down for that text scale that was set up so you can do any other colors as well what did we do i think we did 100 let's try uh, 200 let's see what it is and then we're going to write it again and that's gray all right so if i wanted to come in here and let's exit out of lua all right now what we can do is we can go in and we can edit up a startup file here and we can call up the monitor, just peripheral. That wrap. Remember, it's to the right of this computer. And then we're going to, let's just say, set the, actually, let's clear everything on the screen first in case um, it is not clear. When we reboot the computer, it will be, it'll clear up anyway, but just in case it's not, um, we can set the text scale. Let's just do it to make it a little bit bigger. We can also set the text color. Uh, let's do 50 for a fun shade of green, I believe. And we'll set the cursor position. And the way this works, again, is the first number is the left to right, and the second number is the up and down. So we're going to start up top. And then we're going to write Hello. And then now we'll come down and we'll do a few more things here. Uh, one of the cool things about the advanced computer, if you did not know that, is it works with your mouse cursor. So you can click in here and go wherever you want, which is pretty awesome. So, um, all right, so let's set the text scale to one, the default size. Set the color to 100. Set the cursor position to first line, let's do just about four or five lines down. And then we're gonna write, what would you like to do today? Boom, and that's it. Save it, exit, reboot me computer. Oh, what happened there? We missed something. Oh, forgot to spell cursor right. That does matter. SG computers. Boom, here it is. And look at that. What would you like to do today? Now, where did my first line go? Let's change that back to one. I think that does help there on startup. Text scale back to one. Yeah, it does. So for some reason, the text scale uh, really likes to be one there when you first start. I tried it with a five, and uh, I don't think that one's gonna work, but let's see. No, it's not. So on the startup, just to do this, set the scale as one, that works really well, so. Um, but you can start writing in a whole bunch of different messages in there. And uh, you can do tons of different things on however you want um, with this advanced computer. I really recommend using the advanced computer because you've got the color in there as well. You've got the mouse clicks, which is pretty cool. So that works out really well. Well, that's the major peripheral that you're going to be working with is this monitor. There are other things like the disk drive where you can save your files to the disk drive and you know store those and put them in different computers if you'd like. Uh, you can pretty much figure those out. Those aren't too bad, um, but definitely mess around with them as well as a printer. 
that you can use and you can print up bound books and you can um, print up papers and things like that which is pretty awesome so but that's pretty much it for the monitor good luck with that definitely do some writing and have some fun with it